Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestimies.com and today I'm going to show you two ways to cut your stamped images using the Cricut. Now we are using specifically the Design Space software for this. This is a free software and you use it with the Cricut Explore Air and also with the Cricut Maker. And you can either stamp your image and then color it in and then cut it out or if you're like me and you want to do a lot at one time you can stamp and color your image and then resize it and cut it out as many times as you'd like. So let's get going. First stamp your image on bright white cardstock. I like even using glossy cardstock using the blackest ink you have. You may want to use a stamp positioning tool and stamp it two or three times just to make sure that it is super dark. Next Take a picture of your image and upload it to your computer or scan it if that's the way you want to go. But then open your Cricut Design Space software. It's free. It's on the web. You don't even have to download it. And you're going to upload that image into the software. So as you can see, I've taken my little teacup and I am uploading it. Next, we're going to clean it up and digitize it and get it ready to use with your Cricut. So I've gone ahead and selected the um, complex uh, image it's just easier for me and here's a little tip I like to go into that um, color setting at the top and I select it to two that just means I'm gonna get fewer gradients and fewer things that I have to weed away and we're just dealing with a black and white image so it should be really super simple to do this so um, first go ahead and select the areas that you want it to cut away so as you can see what I'm left is with a little teacup with a hole in the handle because that's how I want it to look you can also go in with your eraser tool and get rid of any little schmutzy bits anything that you don't want to um, have in your final image now I am going to tell you you can't use the eraser tool inside the image because if you do it will make a hole so if you do that by mistake like I just did please hit undo so that you don't end up with holes you can only use that to clean up the outside of the image so you don't have to kind of overwork this it's really not necessary go ahead and click continue and you'll see what we do next after we've hit continue, it's actually going to give you two options. The one on the left is save as a print then cut image. The other is just the cut image. So for a stamped image, obviously we want to save it as a print and then cut because from now on, you are going to be coloring your stamped image, which is now digitized. This means that you can also make it bigger or smaller or invert it or mirror it. It gives you a lot of options. So I've gone ahead, saved it as a cut image, and now you see it right there on the far left hand side and I can insert that onto the mat so now it is ready to actually print and then cut so let me show you what we do after that now as you can see this image is a lot larger than my original stamped image so this might be a good time for you to go back to your original stamped image and find out how big it actually was and use the little side arrow you can see that little area in blue around the teacup and then there's a little arrow on the diagonal you can use that to make it bigger or smaller um, more like the original size of the image that you had so now what I'm doing is I'm just duplicating it because maybe what I want to do is make a whole bunch of friendship cards and I'm just gonna make like maybe six of these um, to print out and then color in notice I am not even arranging them on the mat um, your machine and the design software is actually going to make it so that you can um, you don't have to arrange them it's gonna like optimize the paper for you once you get it to this place you are going to continue and it is going to send it to your printer that way you can print them all out and then once you're done you can cut them so here's my piece that I have printed out and now I'm getting ready to cut it notice that the Cricut Maker has this little light and what it's doing with the light is it's actually kind of sensing where the boundaries of the image uh, might be even notice around the little teacup it's kind of that weird gray that's just helping it see the edges and now it's going to go back and cut all that out for me um, you also may notice that because I didn't change the image anymore when it printed it actually made it a little gray I'm going to show you how to fix that in the next step so if you're a little bit of a perfectionist and you don't want that teacup to print gray I'm going to show you how you can take one more step and make it completely white 
this time what we're going to do is we're going to start again with our stamped image and we're going to go ahead and upload it from scratch just so that you can see it. But this time we're going to cut everything away, only leaving the black lines. Now, if you wanted, this would make a great like inlaid die cut look, but um, we're still going to use it as a print and cut. So as you can see, I am going through each section inside the teacup, outside of the teacup, and I'm removing everything this time. That's going to leave me with this super clean line drawing. And again, if you have any little bits um, where there's that gray dust left over, go through and just erase it. It's not going to make a whole lot of difference. So don't spend like years cleaning up this image because in the next step, a lot of that is going to be taken care of. So once you've gotten the obvious bits of little, um, you know, black leftovers, go ahead and continue. So once again, this should look very familiar. You can save it as a print, then cut image or a cut image. What we're going to actually do is save it again as a print, then cut image. So, oh, by the way, because this is online software, every now and then you come up with a problem like this where you have a problem with your connection, it doesn't save, and you have to do it all over again. So I'll be back after I do that all over again. This is the original image that we had, the one that kind of printed out gray. This time I'm going to show you what happens when we import that new one where I have cut out um, the inside. Remember how I cut that out? So first of all, let me go down and find it. And here it is. This is the one where I have cut out all the inside. It's also a print then cut image, but we don't want it to be a print then cut image. We just want it to like do the outside and not the inside. So here's the trick, friends. Here's the image, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot. By the way, I mentioned how to do this in my last video. So I'm selecting the area that I want to screenshot. There it is. Now I'm going to take this and delete it because that's not what exactly I want. But I want to upload a new image again. I'm going to upload the image. I'm going to browse. Here it is, that screenshot I just took. Here we go. I'm opening it up. And now we're going to kind of repeat the process. So here's my image. It's Notice how it is no longer gray. It is all 100% white. I'm still going to go through the process of choosing a complex image. I am going to go ahead, though, this time and just select the outside and that inside area of the teacup because that's what I want it to cut away. But notice how this is now bright white. There is no little dusty schmutzy bits. I can continue. Now I can save this as a new print and cut image. And what I'm going to do is actually name this teacup final. That way I know this is the one that is the cleanest. You can even see that the cut image is perfect. This might be a good one to save also um, just to have like an extra. So I'm going to save it as print and cut. And here we go. This takes a little minute. Now I can go ahead and if I'm confused, because notice I've been doing this tutorial, so I've saved a lot of versions. If you click the I, it's going to show you what the names are. So if you get confused, there's my teacup final. I'm going to select it and it'll insert it. By the way, you can go ahead then and delete all of the other versions. So I just wanted to show you that here we go with the original uploaded but not screenshotted. And then here's the second version. You see how bright white that is. Now here's the thing. Every time you screenshot something, you lose a little bit of the quality. So don't do this a bunch. But what's also interesting is this is actually closer to the size of the original image. So what I'm going to do next is go ahead, print these out, and then cut them. And you'll be able to see the final results. OK, I figured you didn't need to see me go through the printing process again, but here are my printed images and my original stamped image. So you can see for size that I got the size pretty dead on just by using the grid on the screen. So then what I did is I actually colored my images. And here you can see them done in colored pencil. And now next, I'm loading up the mat and I'm putting it through the machine. I think it's interesting that you really can't tell which one was gray and which one was white with a colored pencil. But if you wanted to use a Copic marker, it absolutely would be a difference. So OK, but what if you want to color the image first before you cut it out? The scan and cut can just look at the image and then cut it out. 
The Cricut, Maker, and Explore, not so much, but you can work around it using Design Space. So what you're going to do is stamp and color your image the way you want to, and then, like in the first step, upload it onto your computer any way that you see fit. Again, I just use my smartphone. So then you upload it into Design Space, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to crop it and remove all of the background image. Once you have it all cleaned up, you once again save it as a print then cut image and this time you really are going to print then cut it. So you go ahead, insert it onto your screen and print it out on your printer and then cutty cutty cutty. Now the cool thing is about this is that you can make all of your images for all of your cards all at once. You can resize them and it's there forever. Now I did make one little error in the way I saved it. Um, that's why it's got the little like uh, cross on it. Yours will not do that if you save it appropriately. Um, but I was actually pretty impressed that what you end up with is you know, this image that you have colored, but now it's printed out and ready to go. So at the end of the day, it really depends on which version you like better. Would you rather have something that is just printed out in black and white, and then you color each one individually, or do you like this kind of mass production idea where you color it once and then you can duplicate it and cut out a bunch? The choice is yours, but at least you have two different ways of working with your stamped images on the Cricut Design Space. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was long. Thank you for bearing with me. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and as always, have a crafty day.